part three of our examination of the Bhagavad Gita, the Song of God, also has been called the Hindu Bible. This is the translation by Paramahansa Yogananda. And you can see that some of these others are little tiny books, whereas this is a giant. It's mainly because there's just a lot of commentary in here. But here's another aspect of the Gita that's really fascinating and that really comes out of Yogananda's translation. And that is, if you remember when we first talked about this, the Gita is the story of the great warrior Arjuna on the eve of a battle where the two armies are lined up across from each other and he looks across at the, at the enemy that he's going to have to fight and he recognizes kinsmen and teachers and friends and he says to Krishna, I don't see any good coming out of fighting these people and Krishna says, no, 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 you've got to fight these people. And the interesting thing and then the Gita names all of these warriors across. And what's interesting, particularly in Paramahansa Yogananda's translation, is these names of the warriors translates into terms like arrogance, laziness, self-arrogance, contempt for others. In other words, he is saying metaphorically, Krishna is saying metaphorically, that these enemies are not just physical enemies that you're going to slay with a bow or the sword, but they are enemies inside yourself. They are the vices that we all fall prey to. Procrastination, self-doubt, arrogance, perfectionism, contempt for others, laziness, all those things. And so a big part of what the Bhagavad Gita is saying is we must slay these enemies in ourself. And that's why so much of the Gita is about meditation. It's about actually the word yoga in Sanskrit means union, like our word yoke. And the point of meditation is to, have a, to form a union with that part of ourselves that is divine. And that part will then slay these vices within us. So the Bhagavad Gita is really a very spiritual, internally oriented treatise on leadership, on self-leadership, of slaying the inner foe inside ourselves as we evolve to become our higher selves. That's the Bhagavad Gita, one of the great books of all time.